Hey everyone, Josh here from Fresh Start Customs, and today we are going to be going over um, how to place letters and potentially the sign images on um, one of those round wooden uh, w those wooden rounds there. And I'm going to show you how to do it, like if you would be cutting out your own wooden round, um, how you would place that with a score line. So to keep your letters completely straight, someone asked me to make this video. So we're going to go over this today and I'm going to show you how you can add a score line and then cut your letters out separate. That way you can glue them right in place um, so you have perfect alignment there. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, I'm going to change this to the ellipse tool here and we're going to just click anywhere on your artboard. And we're going to go with just the 10 by 10 um, inch round. So there we go, we have a 10 by 10 inch round. Um, here if yours comes in like solid black um, like that you can go ahead and just remove your fill right here and then make sure you have a cut line of some color um, I always choose red for my outside cuts um, or just cuts in general that's gonna be physical pieces that fall out um, so you can do that however you want and then what we're going to do is we're going to add our text here. So it can be anything you want. Um, just for an example, we're going to go ahead and just type in Merry Christmas. There we go. And um, you could center the words if you want to center it. Um, do whatever you want with the words that you want. If you want it to be on separate lines, you can create two different text files so this is just an example so you guys know how um, I do score lines here so we're gonna keep this as short and sweet as possible and then I'll upload it to the Glowforge UI so you can see how that works too so let's just say we want Merry Christmas written right there um, all on this side not centered and then we're gonna put like a snowman or a Christmas tree here um, I don't have that on me right now but uh, we'll just put a star there in the meantime as a filler. Um, so that looks about like a good size there. And let's just call that our Christmas tree. So if you want to do the same thing with the letters as we're going to do with the Christmas tree here, if you have an outline cut of the Christmas tree, you can do the same thing essentially. Um, sometimes it's a little bit harder if you don't have that outside cut lined up because um, if you're going to be placing the Christmas tree on top here as a second layer, um, you would be cutting that Christmas tree out here and then you wouldn't have any score lines. Um, but I'll show you what you would do with that outside cut. Just we're going to pretend that you, you have that there. So uh, let's go ahead and start on the letters first because that's the reason why I'm making the video who, um, who wanted me to make the video here. So with the letters, you're going to come up here to type and then you're gonna click on create outlines. And as you can see, all these little nodes here um, have become outlines from this entire um, uh, letters here that, that I created. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna actually get rid of the fill and then we're gonna change this into um, a different colored line. So you don't wanna make it the same color as your cut lines. Um, like my cut lines are red. I always make my score lines light blue, this aqua blue here. Um, it just makes sense to me. So there we go, I got that light blue. And then you would do the same thing with your Christmas tree um, cut line here. You would make the cut line into that light blue and uh, do no fill there. So there you go, uh, this is your score lines. And then to make it even, easier here um, all you're gonna have to do here is select your words again um, and then copy them on a Windows computer control C and I believe on a Mac it's a command C and then you're gonna put those letters over here and now that we have these outside we're gonna change those letters back to red um, outlines this is gonna be your cut so red is your cut um, and let me move that down here. There we go. So something weird is happening with our little UI here. There we go, that's better. 
So uh, now you can see all the little cut lines. Uh, this is going to cut out the letters here. And then um, if you have just the outline of your Christmas tree in this example, um, as a score here, you can repaste in your Christmas tree with the original cut line. Um, but since I don't have that, we're going to go ahead and just do the same thing here. Um, and we're going to pretend that you imported your Christmas tree again that has your original red cut line on it. So this is what you're going to do. This is uh, all this red is going to cut out and the pieces are going to fall out. And then the blue is going to be a score line where you're going to just take these pieces and plop them and glue them right into place. So let's go ahead and save this here. And we'll just, let's see. We'll just name it Christmas test here. And I'm gonna just do an SVG right off the bat just to save us some time. There we go. So let's open up the Glowforge UI here and we're gonna import that Christmas test right here. And that will process your image down here and it's gonna import it. And there you go, this is your um, sign and everything all in one file and as you can see I have it under the uh, recommended cut settings here I might have to scoot this over a little bit um, once I actually choose my type of wood because we're pushing 19 inches it's usually like 18.5 inches so I'll just scoot that over if I need to but just using this as an example um, we're going to go ahead and just select like thick maple plywood to give you an example of how this is going to lay out. So as you can see, this Merry Christmas and star in the center here is our, our score line. You see how it highlights here? We're going to go ahead and click on that. And then we're going to click score. And now that is the score line. So it's going to go through, score all these letters, score your Christmas tree. Um, and then it's going to cut all of these other pieces out afterwards. And then all you have to do is glue them right into place. And there you have it. Um, that's how I, I do the alignment on those wood rounds or any sign in general, like my home signs that I made um, on my Etsy shop there. Um, same with the Wacom and sports signs. So anything like that makes it super easy to place and glue them into place. I hope this video helped you guys out and it's always a pleasure helping somebody. See you next time.